Black River Falls have a big decision to make next Tuesday. They'll decide whether to raise their taxes to pay for improvements to their school district. News 8's Keely Arthur joins us with a closer look at the referendum. Black River Falls School District has had nine failed referendums in the past two decades, and they don't want history to repeat itself this year. District officials say they've worked closely with residents, so this plan reflects what they want for their schools and what they are willing to pay, and they hope they will ultimately agree on November 4th. It was the shrine of the Ujigami. Tom Epps has taught in the Black River Falls School District for 31 years. He says the quality of the school building doesn't match the quality of the staff and students. It's all about the kids and truly our kids do deserve better. They deserve better than than this building. Third Street Elementary was built 90 years ago. Epps says the building has had every problem you'd imagine something that old would have. I'm not saying that we need a Taj Mahal but this building um, has some needs that need to be met and uh, with a new f referendum uh, passing, it would be just uh, exhilarating to be in a new building. He might get his wish. A new elementary school is part of a $22.5 million referendum on the ballot this fall. Of that, $17.5 million would go towards a new elementary school, $4 million for renovations to the high school, and about $230,000 would help update security. Some of the high school money would transform generic classrooms into more specialized rooms for biology, chemistry, and other subjects. They're not set up in lab environments. Science instruction is so much more engaging when it can be the hands-on experiments. Most of the district's five schools have their main offices located in the middle of the building. The money for security would change that. The office needs to be front and center, so we would move our high school office right to the front so that we could um, see whoever was entering the buildings. If voters say yes to the plan, they will see an increase in property taxes of $99 for every $100,000 over the next 20 years. Severson says she eliminated any plans to update the district building, so the money will go right to the schools to help students like the ones in Mr. F's but class. We don't come asking often and we don't come asking for frivolous things, and so um, we hope that everyone recognizes that this is a very, very solid uh, foundation of need. If the refer referendum is passed, most of the projects would be completed in 2015, but construction on the new elementary school wouldn't begin until 2016. All right, thank you, Keely. And to learn more about other area referendums on the ballot next Tuesday, you can go to news8000.com slash election.